Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, welcome everyone to the um, advanced Said Musi Risal to Noor study weekend intensive. Um, thanks for everyone for turning up on time. Um, we still got some people on their way, but we have to start because we've got a very, very uh, deep program and um, a lot of things to cover over this weekend. Um, we're hopefully this weekend. Uh, we've, you know, we're going to have it delivered by Professor Colin Turner from Durham University, uh, who is one of the leading authorities researching on the works on the Risalat of Law and Sayyid Nursi in general. And we will also have a presentation by Professor Hakam from the um, Foundation for uh, Science and Technology um, as well. So, what, as you know, Sayyid Nursi Rahmatullah was one of the most important civilizational thinkers of the Muslim world in the last century who inspired many faith movements and he's, he played a vital role uh, in general in the revival of Islam in Turkey and across the world. Um, his magnus opus was the Risal to Nur collection which is a body of Quranic exegesis attempting to reconcile the modern sciences and, and the Quran uh, in the onslaught of a very materialistic secular uh, atheism that happened uh, in Turkey. Um, up until uh, modern times. Now, Turkey's re relative rise can, can be attributed to the ideas of Norsi. Um, whilst there have been many seminars and conferences on Norsi, what we want to do with this uh, weekend study, um, as I said, there's been many seminars on Norsi and conferences and stuff like that, but what we want to do uh, this weekend is to raise the level of his ideas and thoughts to the next level, build up further, develop further. So our intention is to advance the study and actually, uh, and we're starting it by doing this anyway. So as a prerequisite, we said those who do come on the course, you should be familiar with the basics of Sayyid Nursi's life, his works, and his thoughts, have a reasonable understanding on um, classical Arabic and um, classical Islamic sciences, including Kalam, metaphysics, philosophy, and epistemology. So as you can see from the timetable, we've got a lot to cover. Um, theology of the names and attributes, problem of the human, I and Anna, problem of cause and effect, dichotomy of belief and submission, notion of self-referentiality and the other indicativeness, notion of uh, the myth of open doors of creation and a general uh, presentation on Sayyid Nursi's, uh, the study of Sayyid Nursi's result of law, past, present and future. So we've got a lot to cover over this weekend. So. Um, what the format is going to be each session, we have about four sessions each day and there are about 45 minutes each lecture and then 15 minutes of Q&A after each um, uh, lecture. So each, each session will have, if you do have questions, uh, keep the questions uh, related to the sections they're in. So if you've got a question or something else, it may be addressed in, in another session later on. So if you have questions related to theology of names and attributes, which is the first one, keep it to that session only. We, we will have an open Q&A anyway on Sunday afternoon, late Sunday afternoon anyway, where you, there may be some areas which haven't been filled up or so, but again, that's absolutely fine. And the other thing is, again, it is, we're, we're treating this as like an advanced study. So uh, we're assuming everybody here has a relatively good understanding of the result on it. So again, we may, you know, this, this is a, a continuation of our seminars projects. We've done Ghazali, we've done Ibn Taymiyyah, now we're doing uh, Said Nursi's result on So, uh, you know, I'd like to hope that we're not going to, it's not a basic course. So if you don't understand something, you have to go and read up in your own time. And this is something we made it very clear to Dr. Collins as well, um, in that sense. Right, so the format is five sessions, we'll have a break. Uh, for 15 minutes after each session, even though we're supposed to start at 9, we can play it by ear. We can play it and work it around with Dr. Collins. We will break for Dhuhr and uh, Asr. Our lunch break will be around 1.15. Because, you know, the times are quite, uh, the prayer times are quite close. So, um, 1.15 we can break for lunch and Dhuhr and Asr. So, uh, Asr starts around just after 2. So, we can do Dhuhr and Asr. The prayer room is just here, or the prayer rooms, there are lots of prayer rooms nearby as well. And as, you know, um, you can buy tea, copper, you can buy lunch uh, from shops nearby as well. Um, that's uh, Dhuhr and Asr, 
and then um, session four will be around 2.30, okay, that'll take us up to um, four o'clock or so, and the last session's around, uh, we'll try and finish by 4.30, between 4.30. There's only uh, three sessions. Today. There's only, yeah, there's only three sessions today or so. And then tomorrow again, a couple more sessions say, uh, as well. See how far we get. See, yeah, we'll see how far we get. We'll play it by ear, um, and we'll take it there. Now, just a quick introduction to our presenter. Uh, very honoured and privileged to have uh, Professor Colin Turner, who's one of the leading authorities on the Risalat al Noor and Said Nur. So he's a reader in Islamic thought uh, in the School of Government and International Affairs at Durham University. So he completed his bachelor's and honours at first class in the Oriental Studies, um, Arabic, Persian, Islamic Studies, and Anthropology, and then pursued his PhD in Islamic Studies from Durham. He's been in teaching there for the last 20 years. The research interests include Muslim theology, philosophy, history of political thought, um, in particular works of um, Sayyid Morsi, Sufi spirituality, Shiism, Quran, Quran exegesis, anthropology of religion, Persian literature. So he's authored many uh, and contributed to many books, including um, um, The Makers of Civilization, Sayyid Morsi, um, Six Sided Visions. I'm assuming it, people have received this, had some read some of the articles prior to that as well. Again, um, what we want to do, if you've read this already, that's fantastic, that just helps uh, to con uh, helps to the discussion. So besides teaching and supervising PhD students, it's a member of the Centre of the History of Political Thought and the Institute of Medieval and Renaissance Studies at Durham University. Um, I have the notes, I will be printing them up, these are just slide notes. Just to let you know, um, you are expected to make additional notes, so we don't want to spoon feed you in that sense. These are just slide notes you have to be writing your own notes because again, this is an advanced course. You have to go out, find out more, read more, work on the subject more. If you've only got questions, don't hesitate to ask Dr. Collins uh, also. So, um, before I hand it over to Dr. Collins, housekeeping, if you put your mobile phones on silent, unless you really need to um, uh, answer that call, you can, just, just do it outside. The bathrooms and toilets are literally, as you go out and then right, and then left. It's just literally there. You can actually go from this way uh, over here. Uh, prayer rooms. There's a prayer room there, and there's a prayer room in Soas. So we can we can work out something whenever you need a prayer room, and you can help yourself tea. We're going to have tea coffee sessions uh, at allocated time. So long introduction. I'm so sorry about that. Sorry. Cutting into your time. No so um, without further ado, I'm going to hand it over to Dr. Collins. Okay. Bismillah.